Live from Venice, it's Nancy from Needlefish Yarns. Hi everybody, how you doing? I haven't been on in quite a while actually. Um, I took a little vacation up to Ohio and took the Florida heat with me and we had a great time but we were really sweaty up there. I did get some knitting done and some reading and saw my kids and grandkids so it was a great time but I'm glad to be back. And we're in the middle of September which means it's fall. So what are we doing? I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm doing and what you can do for Christmas and holidays and just what's going on at the shop. And I just wanted to say hi because I miss all you guys. One of the things that's coming up is Stephen West's Mystery Knit and that starts on October 8th. I am putting some kits together. I just did a few yesterday. He wants you to do a light color, a medium color, a dark color, something that will pop, something that will contrast. So I put these five colors together. How fun is that? We don't know what it's going to be because that's what Stephen wants us to do is not know. That's why it's a mystery. Here's another, here's another combination I stuck together. I will put these online. Most of these are going to be super silky. I might throw in a practically perfect just for the color reason, but I'll, I'll show you the things he does because he puts everything on, on video on YouTube. So you never have to worry. It, all these things look really complicated. I did his last year's. This is called Slip Stravaganza, and I know. I had so much fun making this, and it looks really hard. Well, it isn't when he talks you through it. And of course, there's us, we can talk you down. I loved doing this, and I will probably hop on his other one, even though I've got like seven projects going right now. I'm not e exaggerating much. I think it's four or five, but that's me. What else have we got? Well, Emma's color of the month we get every month, and you might have missed August's. It's this one. It is so pretty. It looks like Florida, ocean, blue skies. That's not green algae. September is also in, and it is very fallish. Um, it's the grass is turning different colors, and I really like it. It's really pretty. That's their September color, and it's, hi, Linda. Um, it's very fallish, but it's wearable for everything as it always is. Okay, so what am I doing? This will help you think of the holidays because, you know, it's September and last year I didn't start my three Afghans. I made three glamping blankets and started them in November. So two of my three children got their glamping blankets in oh, February or so. I'm like that. But I wanted to start early this year and I took an old pattern and started playing with it. And it's called the Muck Luck. It's been around forever. It's super, super simple. Hi, Susan. Um, I'm gonna throw, show you three different possibilities. My grandchildren are getting these, and of course, you know that my daughters are not going to hand wash anything. It's not gonna happen. So I took a very abusable yarn, and this is um, Universal's Major. It's 100% acrylic. It's down and dirty, but you can throw these in the washer and the dryer, and the kids love them. And it, it took me a day to make a slipper. I mean, it's nothing. So the, the advantage of acrylic is that it's very wearable, washable, abusable. The disadvantage is that it doesn't wick the sweat off your body. It just doesn't have that ability, nor is it shapeable, but you don't really need to do anything about that with a muckluck because it's a muckluck. If you want some wool and you can take a step up, I would recommend Vintage Chucky, which I forgot to grab, so give me one second. Sorry about that. Vintage Chunky has, it's a wool blend of acrylic and um, wool and nylon. So it's super strong. It's got 40% wool in it. So it, it's gonna help wick that sweat off the foot. It's $9.50 a skein. So three skeins would probably get you two pairs. I and mean, that's a really economical project. And these are fun to do. You can whip these off while you're watching uh, television. Which, which is great. Now you can go even one step further and do 100% wool. It's more of an investment, of course. Uh, I happen to make myself a pair. I had some leftover uh, Emma's Bodacious Bulky. This is 100% wool. And yes, it's expensive. But if you get three skeins, again, you get two pair out of them. So if you want luxury, I highly recommend this. It's 100% wool, wicks the sweat off your feet and keeps you warm. Well, we're in Florida, who says you need them? I do. The air conditioning makes my feet very cold sometimes. So I'm looking forward to putting these on, actually. 
because I'm selfish too, but that's okay. So what else am I doing? Linda, who's on right now, is uh, made a sweater and she inspired me to do one too. It's called Calliope by Espace Tricot. It's a top-down, easy sweater. Linda made hers in uh, the Spectacular DK in Take a Hike, which is a medium green. It's gorgeous. And she modified the sleeves instead of making them long. She made a three-quarter length sleeve so she can wear them when the weather is cool in Florida. We do get a few cool days. This is it right here. Now, this particular author loves mohair. So what she made hers in, and I have a version at home that I'm doing it in too, you take one skein of fingering weight and one skein of mohair and you knit them together. The result is just this soft halo that you get. It's beautiful. However, there are a lot of people that feel mohair is like wearing a hair shirt. So what do you do? Well, instead of that, just use one strand of DK. That's what I'm doing on this version. You can see it here. This is just DK weight. Here's a little lesson about hand-dyed yarns. Believe it or not, these, hi Jenny, these are the same color. That's right, they're just different batches. This is called heavy pour. Of course it is. I like this Cabernet better than this Cabernet. But I didn't have enough of this dye lot to make a full sweater. So what I'm doing is what we recommend you do when you get a hand dyed yarn. You alternate every couple of rows. It's not hard to do. You just set the yarn over the other strand when you change, when you change um, rows. And I'm getting a striped effect. I really like it actually. And it's going quickly. It's not, it's not really difficult to do. So that's, I've got two sweaters going and mukluks. I also have the Bohemian Boho sweater I started, but that's to the side right now because I just can't get to it. Hi, Eileen. And for the store, this is another great little um, project. These are Leo and Roxy socks. You can see them there. There, this is a kit. It comes with all the yarn to make the stripe, the white, the heel, and this. This is kind of like the monkey, little stuffed monkey material. Um, I'm making it with the orange, but the, we've got orange, purple, tealish green and COVID even though she was vaccinated and so did her two daughters. Uh, the two daughters were fine. My daughter didn't do so well, so I'm very happy she's okay. Stay safe. Um, we, may, we may be um, using masks again soon. I, I think the busier we get, we may have to turn to that for a while, but we're still open. We're still having fun and keep knitting and crocheting because that's what we do. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.